Hey, remember, kids, if you don't finish high school, you can always finish motherfucking concrete. Whoa, whoa. Bought a ticket on the trot, head, that ain't shit. What's up, guys? I'd like to talk to you about the dangers of cutting into a propane gas cylinder. Number one, I'm not telling you how to do it. Number two, it is very dangerous. Do not try this at home. This is a disclaimer. I'm just telling you how I do it, okay? So number one, cutting a propane cylinder, very, very dangerous. Make sure all the gas is out of it. Okay, I've seen a lot of videos on this. Some are just plain dangerous as hell. I will say that right now. I'm no expert, but I want to be able to live to see my kids another day. I want to be able to live to cut open another damn bottle the right way and not be killed. Okay, I see guys taking smaller bottles. These are 100 pound bottles. I see guys taking smaller bottles, laying them sideways after they get the gas out, and beating beating on the valve with the sledgehammer i'll show you the valve hold on a minute now we got a prey manis nice little guy right there hanging out pretty cool anyway this is the propane valve that will it will be in the tank okay. so that valve right there I see guys laying these tanks sideways to get them loose. They take a damn four pound hammer and smack on it to get it to turn. First of all, that's very dangerous because um, you still got vapor in there and vapor is worse than regular gas. You get oxygen and vapor mixed up and guess what? You have TNT, you got a damn bomb. So don't do that. What I like to do after the gas is all out, I don't waste gas, so I'll hook it up, use the gas that's in there with the adapter to a barbecue grill, run it all the way out. Then what I like to do, this one here has a removable top. Now, some of them don't. Some of them, you will have to cut the welds, which is fine. Just do it very lightly with a cutoff tool, either a Matabo or a Bosch. You could use an angle grinder. Just be prepared to eat a damn disc when they do explode when they get pinched but some of them you'll cut just a little bit here if there's a spot weld and there's usually one on the back and one on the side this one removes okay so i don't have that problem with these bigger tanks like the little ones but what i'm gonna tell you right now is get get yourself a ratchet strap okay mine's still laying here get a ratchet strap Find somewhere to go around, uh, like a pole, a metal pole, ratchet strap one of these bottles very tight around something, a 4x4 four four post, uh, the bed of your truck, if you get a receiver hitch, ratchet strap it to that, very damn tight, okay? And this is after you cut the little ring off very lightly, make sure the... Make sure the remaining valve that's inside here is always off whenever you cut the little guard off to get to the valve. Now, after you got your tank standing up, you got your ratchet strap all the way around it, and you got a post behind it holding it. Now what you want to do, tighten the hell out of your ratchet strap after your guard is out of the way. And then get you a pipe wrench and very easily break that loose and turn it without hitting it and making sparks okay that's key right there you don't want to make any type of spark so hitting it with the hammer is just unsafe as hell don't do it and then how i like to purge these after i get that valve all the way off i fill it completely full with water and while it's full of water i take a piece of angle angle iron lay all the way across there and draw me a straight line all the way across dead center on one side only and after the one side only is 
drone on there. What I do is I let it sit overnight with my mark, with the water in there. Then I'll lay it horizontally down, put a water hose in that end with it all the way full. I start cutting real lightly. And what's going to happen, you will get water that blows out on you. But the pressure of that hose will push any remaining gas out. And if there's nowhere for oxygen to be inside of that bottle or gas, because the pressure of the water hose on the other side is blowing it out. And I don't mean you got to do it a lot, just enough to come out and then just start cutting that whole damn line. And once you get that whole line cut, let it drain. You're done. But make sure you let water sit all the way overnight. Like I said, this is how I do it. I'm not telling you how to do it. So this is just my opinion. And then once, once you uh, use a cutoff wheel, cutoff tool, okay, whatever your flavor may be. Hold on a minute. And once you get your markings on her, you could cut this damn barrel so damn clean. I mean, all the way around it, so clean. You could even cut right through the damn head of it and have two identical pieces that you could use. I'm gonna build a, I'm gonna build a concrete chute says my phone's overheating so video quality might not be as good sorry guys but i'll have two identical halves so these are four feet long that gives me eight feet if i add them together and i'll make them removable well i'm going to build a concrete chute out of these for my concrete truck so stay tuned on that job let me know what you guys think so far